Hello everyone, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion and today I am working on projects and my family went to go run some errands and I decided to go ahead and come on and show you what I'm working on. Now the previous projects I was making were pin cushions and then I've gone back to making some pin cushions. I was making denim flowers for a while, different flowers, and now I'm working on pin cushions again. I, um, basically my customer is, um, going to place another order and she said she wants more print cushions and I'm just trying different techniques and these ones oh hi Diane oh look I saw it this time <laughs> but these ones right here are the pink ones I came up with and what my goal was is I was trying to make it look like a, a, a cupcake pin cushion and um, this I just created my own technique on how to do it Oh, thank you. I know a lot of you like pink, so I decided to show you the pink ones I've made. Um, I'm actually doing better today. I had been a little bit ill, so I'm answering someone. Um, on... Hi, Judy. Thank you. This one right here is, um, I, I actually used like an applesauce container on this one. And then I made the, the pin cushion part here. I had some lace. This is supposed to simulate frosting and this too, but I'm not sure if I was successful or not, regardless of whether I was successful in making it look like a cupcake. Um, I think it's still beautiful. And you can actually put your pins if you want to right through the flower, or you can just, you know, move the flower around and then it'll look like there's sprinkles on it and all the way like that. So your pin and right here, everything I kind of sewed the flower on the bottom. And this is just one of my Alaliz Technique flowers that I put on top. I was going to use something else and I changed it to this one because I liked it. And I had put, so the, if you notice, this has silver on it. Well, I put some silver, but all I had was just a little teeny tiny piece. So it's kind of like a, just a little hint of silver on there, which can barely be seen. But that's how this one came out. So again, this was an applesauce container underneath. And then I put a piece of felt on the bottom to conceal some of the extra ribbon that I had. This one right here, I, I tried a different technique and this one is actually, um, if you search YouTube, you'll see that there's some, or Pinterest, you'll see that there's a lot of um, them made out of felt and they roll the felt up and then they use the center. And that's kind of like what this one is. In the center, it's actually, a, a this entire thing is felt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I actually have, um, some of the ladies are asking me questions about why I wasn't feeling well. Well, I actually have a chronic thing that's going on with me. Um, I finally recovered from my more serious items that were going on. And that's what got me crafting was because I was ill. And I started crafting because it's healing and it distracts you when you have pain and things like that. That's one of the ways I began crafting. Um, but go back to this. This is all felt inside and I rolled up the felt you can I think there's some, one person that has a video I saw on YouTube but pretty much they have ways they do show you on Pinterest some of them and so I used that type of an idea and I kind of made it my own and um, I do like this one I think I might make more like this it seems pretty simple you're not yeah you know, I'm not using a container so you can actually if if the pin goes in you can actually stab right through it although I tried to keep the um, the layers together I did put a little bit of of glue so you might find sections on the side that you cannot put them but this would be a great place to keep all the little pins on the side and then up on top you can place a, a pin any place you want in the middle I went ahead and put a pin with the with the bead on it and I just made that my center I was going to glue it down but I decided my that way my customer can change her mind if she wants so that's what this one is all inside of there are layers of I had a lot of hot pink so you can see some hot pink felt in there that's what I use inside and then I, I put um, a beautiful flower on top and so I, I really like this one and then I brought brought it together let's see what do I have in here so right along here I have this is a tr pink trim that I carry in my shop one of the things that I that when I used the roll method that it ended up very cylindrical and I was also trying to kind of give it a little bit of a cupcake look so I kind of put more 
up here I think there's two layers of of a trim up on top and then I I decided I needed to bring in the the hot pink that I because I have a lot of hot pink I used hot pink as my first sample and my customer likes different or, or what do we call it magenta anyway so then I um I put on this beautiful wedding trim I still have some in my stash I used to have it in my shop but I just kept the rest that was left for my stash so I can design with it and then here um this is actually a trim that I had actually ordered and it came really messed up so I I'm able to get little teeny pieces and put it in there but I ended up getting a refund on it and I said well I'm just going to use little pieces um like that so what well, the trim when I got it let's see like these little little things here these were all torn apart and stretched out and all messed up so I couldn't put it in my shop but I can certainly craft with it and again on this one um, underneath I put a piece of felt for to cover the um, the other felt so one piece of felt covering all the other felts and this one is squishy so it kind of you can see that it squishes almost like a pillow so I actually like this design that I came up with so I may make and put them in my shop because that would be fun to make them different styles kind of like the next style I'm going to show you oh yes I did finish a couple of the other pin cushions um, but I sent it to my customer before I even took any recordings so you won't probably won't see a recording but I do have lots of photos on my in my um, Facebook of that finished one it just came out so beautiful it almost made me think of a like a feminine milk milk jug jug but um that's what these two are so i wanted to show you that um and i went to the second hand store yesterday thinking i wanted to find a couple of so i wanted to try something different and so i picked up these sunday type cups and i made a cushion for it i may still fill that a little bit more depending on how it comes out and so I'm going to, this is going to be one I'm going to decorate in the future. Oh, there's a pin in there. And um, then I decided that I found this vintage piece. Um, this is a, this is a beautiful vintage piece and it's actually etched. But I'm, I am going to cover up the etching, but I'm not going to, I'm, um, Oh, the other, the one from this one, you want to see this container? Oh, um, I don't know, kind of like at Dollar Tree, you could buy it or you can buy applesauce containers, the plastic ones, maybe something you might find fruit in or applesauce. And that's the container, and it's clear plastic. Um, kind of like, it's, it's kind of soft, almost like, the plastic that's on the fabric tech bottle something like that i don't have any more with me so um, maybe if i make another one i might show it to you i actually went to my cupboard to find something oh okay i'm glad you understand which one it looks like um the um i am in idaho i moved to idaho this last year the um around august or september so i'm actually recording from idaho and here in idaho i actually have a better reception for my um wi-fi that's why i'm able to go live because my other house i had terrible reception and that's that this is in i'm living like in an outskirts of idaho where it's very agricultural but this piece of vintage piece i got because i'm thinking about making a Actually, here in Idaho, we get some snow, and this is my first year, so so far it's snowed about maybe several days, but not none of it stays. It's like it snows and it's beautiful on the ground, and then it goes away in a couple of days. It just like melts off. So you could probably go to the mountains like you do in other areas to probably see more snow, but here where I'm living, n not too much. So we, my son was able to play out there one day, so that was nice. And it's not as, like today, it feels kind of sunny. There's a lot of sun, even though it snows and gets cold here. It's still beautiful. My my husband's been take took the kids out today. So this vintage piece here, um, it reminded me of 
my mom because my mom had a set kind of like this and it's pretty it's pretty tall and I'm going to make something out of this one and it's going to be a different style and I don't even know what style it's going to come out all I did was choose fabric and from the fabric I choose which is this one this is a fabric I chose and I've actually put I stuffed it because this is larger it needed a larger ball and I've I've actually tied it down now um I haven't shown you before how I made this part of it so you would make you would measure at least the the size of this and you want you want to make it I don't know maybe at least two inches larger and you could start from there I would go larger than that let's see how much larger it is that I need this one's actually a square and I, I left mine a square because um, I like to have the extra fabric there let me see I need a little ruler so you have to find one but oh here's a big here's my ruler right here okay so for this one let's see I don't know I guess I could measure from here to here it might give you at least an idea of this one's um I think it was an eight inch circle that I used for this or eight inch square about and I actually used the square because I wanted to strategically place this pattern at the top I, I loved the pattern and I wanted this pattern to show and um, this this design is going to be all about this fabric and if you haven't seen already I do like different um, styles so you can still learn a lot even if I um, use a different style because you can do this with the pink beautiful pink fabric also and what I did is I stuffed a let me show you this one I stuffed a pantyhose like this you can see it's knotted and I, I don't it too tight when I'm I kind of started it because I might need to stick a little extra in there and this helps a lot because when you're when you're closing up your piece so here's a circle here when you wrap it and you're closing up your piece if you sew it exactly, you can see this one will fit perfectly around this. I think it's it's an eight inch circle. And if you sewed it up exactly, then it would make, you can stuff it inside. And it just helps it when you're closing it up that it's not, this is not all sticking out everywhere and making it hard for you to, um, and I, I like, um, so this is just the cheapest pantyhose you can find, Dollar Tree, whatever, and just use them and cut them up and um my sister was my daughter was laughing the other day because i think this is how they make those those dolls that have like shapes to them so you can actually form this and if you would sew this here you could actually make it into a nose can you see a nose <laughs> see how easy that would be to make it into a, a character also um but that's a the pantyhose stuffed with so that's what's in here and then i wrapped the fabric around it and i've been messing with the fabric a lot and I went and I got my good, this one I didn't sew, this one I got my good old um, rubber bands. I use rubber bands a lot. And I put the rubber band around it. And then I've been, I've been trying to even out these folds here a little bit. Because I don't, if, if it's going to be folded because this is a, a thick fabric much like a, much like the feel of jeans, denim, or it's like the feel of twill, or deck fabric it's more like a decorative type fabric something you would use for a curtain but I love those fabrics because they have such beautiful designs in them and so that's why I chose this one and um, then after I put the rubber band on it I do reinforce it you can reinforce it with a ribbon I actually wrapped it with several pieces of of my cotton string and you can see all the fabrics out and I'm gonna leave this fabric in here because I want it to um, to fill in the glass. So it's gonna actually fill in a little bit more of the glass here. And then I decided, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna leave this clear or not, I actually cut this green fabric because I wanted to bring out a little bit of the green. And I'm actually wrapping it around the bottom part so that the colors that are seen through this clear glass, if I, did so, if I so choose to keep the color this clear if I choose that then it's already ready with um, a different color underneath to look even and so you can see here okay so here I am here's my glass now and sometimes guys I, I know you guys are commenting you can keep commenting I'll try to answer I'm all by myself and I'm just designing 
and I just thought I'd bring you in on my designs. One of the things I do want to let you know is that you, um, I make, I come in, I'll come in sporadically, I'll leave sporadically based on what's going on. Um, like the last time somebody came to my door, so I went ahead. And when I first made this cushion here, it went all the way in and I added more more cotton to it or more filling to it because I wanted it to stick out a little bit because I want this to be all about the fabric. So as you can see, um, I put the greens below and it actually looks, you can use this kind of idea to make it look like a milkshake or something like that. Oh, thank you. What was that? Tea cakes and roses. Okay. Yeah. Um, later on, you guys can see, I'll put the pink ones over here too so you guys can actually see them for those of you who who may be coming in late and I and have this will go um, recorded uh, this will stay up for you guys anyway so this is 